Ever since the beginning of this genocide, it has been evident that Benjamin Netanyahu does not want to reach a deal with Hamas and wants to extend the war for as long as possible. It started off with him preventing the head of the Mossad to go to Qatar and Egypt to meet with the negotiating teams of other countries, primarily Qatar, Egypt and the United States, and reach a deal. It later continued to him putting next to impossible demands to the delegation team. He went further to authorize some of his closest allies, closest aides in his office to go with the delegation team to ensure that they do not reach a deal and that they follow the exact orders. He also prevented the defense minister, Yoav Gallant, from meeting with the head of the Mossad and the head of the Shin Bet, alongside lots of other meetings that broke and collapsed between the war cabinet members, including threats, and this is continuing now as well. We had a report in the Israeli newspaper paper Ynet about Benjamin Netanyahu refusing to meet Benny Gantz and Gadi Eisenkot, the war cabinet members, to discuss the potential of a ceasefire. They reported Defense Minister Yoav Gallant and War Cabinet Member Benny Gantz demanded Benjamin Netanyahu to have a meeting to discuss the abductee deal. This is what was reported by Wynet. The cabinet recently met on Saturday night and the meantime Netanyahu is refusing the demand. He does not want to meet with them to discuss the ceasefire. In the last two days, Gallant and Gantz began to demand another meeting after the Prime Minister rejected the proposals for the negotiating team in the last cabinet discussion and even accused them of not knowing how to conduct negotiations. He previously stated that you don't know how to deal with Hamas, only I know how to deal with them. You don't know what to say and what to do with these people. The aforementioned talks reach an impasse after Hamas reportedly demanded a ceasefire of 12 weeks. In the meantime, time Netanyahu surrounding said that he did not refuse but brought forward discussions plans for next Thursday which the war cabinet members deny by the way they continued after the last discussion held as mentioned on Saturday ministers and cabinet members testified that they felt that Netanyahu did not want a deal this is something before I continue that is very much present in the Israeli mainstream and amongst the Israeli population that Benjamin Netanyahu does not want to deal and he wants to drag the war for as long as possible for his own political purposes. They continued. In the cabinet, on the other hand, there was support for the team's proposals, but Netanyahu claimed that they would bring the end of the war. They will bring the war to an end and he does not want that. Quote, you don't know how to negotiate with Hamas, which only repeatedly rejects everything they offer, Netanyahu said. This is coming simultaneously with a blame game between Egypt and Israel as to who caused the recent failure when it comes to the ceasefire. The irony is, despite the fact that Hamas agreed to a ceasefire, something that we never had from Israel, the countries that support Israel are still putting pressure on Hamas rather than on Benjamin Netanyahu to the level required despite the fact that he is being rejected by the majority of the Israeli society when it comes to the war who don't agree with him and want to end the war, reach a ceasefire and get the Israeli abductees back and get the Israeli settlers back to the southern parts and the northern parts of Israel.